Ever wondered what the codes mean on these different cables, like the ones shown here? In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the harmonized wire coding system and give you some examples of common cable types that we use in industry. And if you didn't know, this video is one in a series that we've made in association with Doncaster Cables. They can be viewed individually or you can watch them as part of a free online training package to help you with your CPD and get a certificate at the end of the course. The UK has long been seen as a leading light when it comes to safety and regulations. Our European neighbours also have their own wiring regulations and standards. But in 2004, the UK harmonised its cable colours from red, yellow, blue and black to brown, black, grey and blue. Not only do we have a standard for our wiring colours, but we also have a standard for cable types as well. A harmonized cable coding system was introduced so cables could be fitted in places like Poland as well as Italy. Let's say you're in the UK and you buy a coffee machine from Spain. The cable attached to it will be the same standard that we would expect if we were to have bought that in the UK. So it makes a lot of sense. The harmonized cable coding system is a way we can categorize different cable types that we use in industry, from the flexible cable that feeds your coffee machine to the wire that supplies power to your immersion heater. Each cable has a code and falls onto a system that shouldn't be that unfamiliar to electricians as it looks a little like the IP coding that we have in Appendix L of the on-site guide. However, we have a wider range of options when it comes to cables, which is why the European Committee for Electrotechnical Standardization or Senilec came up with a harmonized code. So let's have a look at it. So in these boxes, we're gonna put our code and they are broken up into three parts. And we're gonna use the harmonized cable code table to navigate and identify this cable code here. Part one is broken up into two subsections. 1A indicates the relationship with the standard the cable has. Is it harmonized or is it part of a national standard? 1B indicates the rated voltage of the cable, starting with 0, 01 as 100 volts, 0, 03 as 300 volts, 0, 05 as a voltage range of 300 to 500 volts, and finally 0, 07, which is 450 to 750 volts. We have H07, which indicates this is a cable made to a harmonized standard with a voltage range of 450 to 750 volts. We now have the letter R, which is the insulation around the conductor. Navigating the table, we can see that this code is for an ordinary ethylene propylene rubber or equivalent synthetic elastomer for a continuous operating temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The N, which is the outer sheath, but you may hear it called a jacket, is a polychloroprene or equivalent. And for those who don't know what polychloroprene is, and why wouldn't you, it's a rubber-based insulation which provides good mechanical strength and flexibility. So we seem to have a heavy duty theme going on here. So let's look at the next code, dash F. Oh, and if you're wondering why we're leaving blanks in the code, well, they do mean something. A blank in 2D means the cable is circular, and the list here shows the different special construction cable types, and a blank in 2E tells us that the cable is a copper cable. Dash A would be aluminium. Okay, so back to dash F. This is the conductor form, and by looking at the chart, we can see that dash F is a flexible cable or flexible cord made to class five. And if you want to know more about cable classifications, Gary and Gordon did a great video on it. The last part of this cable is the size and number of cores. Our cable is 3G6, meaning it's a three core, six millimeter cable. And the G tells us it's a green and yellow conductor and it is included in the cable, what we normally use as our protective conductor. And this is the cable a tough, heavy duty, flexible cable, which will have applications in marine locations or at festivals for supplying power from generators. So let's look at one more cable code that has grown in popularity due to its unique properties. The code is H05Z1Z1F. So we know it's a harmonized cable with a voltage range of 300 to 500 volts. The inner and outer insulation is made up of a polyolefin based thermoplastic compound which has low levels of emissions of corrosive gas and has low emissions of smoke when burnt. And the F is that it's flexible. You may know it as LSF cable, meaning low smoke and fumes. And electricians are installing this type of cable in more locations due to how the cable reacts when exposed to fire. Although there is no direct reference to BS7671 to what cable to use, regulation 422.2.1 does state that cables shall not encroach on escape routes unless they meet the requirements of BS8000. 
BSEN 60332-3 and BSEN 61034-2. These standards require cables to be tested to verify reduced fire propagation and low smoke emissions. So if you are installing bulkhead lighting in a communal area, then a cable with the codes Z1 will need to be specified for the job. So let's have a look at one more example, which has been sent over by our friend Aaron Walstow from Doncaster Cables. Aaron? Hey Joe, we regularly make a cable that's used all the way around the UK. Can you tell us what the code HO5VVF is for? No problem. So the H tells us it's a harmonised cable. The 05 gives it a voltage of 300 to 500 volts. The V is an ordinary PVC in sheath, with the second V being a PVC outer sheath and finally the F is a flexible cable and if you're still not sure what this cable is well you will know it as it's pretty much every appliance standard cable that we have in our home from the kettle to the washing machine it's the standard we find on them all and don't forget these videos are from a series that we have done in association with Doncaster Cables they can be viewed individually or you can watch them as part of a free online training package to help you with your CPD and receive a certificate to prove you've completed the course. But until next time, it's bye-bye for now.